can stay, bitches, I'ma stay in my fly shit. Uh, I be feeling, 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 feeling. I be feeling, 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 feeling. feeling, feeling. I be feeling real good, feeling good, ayy. I be feeling real good, feeling good, ayy. I be feeling, 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 feeling. I be feeling, 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 feeling. I be feeling real good, feeling good, ayy. I be feeling real good, feeling good, ayy. In the cut like Jason Voorhees chops. She got me feeling good like some morphine drops. Hit it from the back and see no faces. Pussy feel good like bass heads when wasted. Finished up a ziggy, now I'm floating like a The quarter caddy tilting on three. My pretty husky got the seats on me. Ain't it thing that can spin my smile? Ain't it thing that can bend my style? Feeling good like a million cash. I'm feeling good like Brazilian ass. Just arrived in Albuquerque, uh, New Mexico, and uh, it's going to be a new episode. Hey, how are you? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nathan, how are you? Nice to officially meet you. Yeah. Good. How are you? Ah, I'm good. Um, hello. Hey. This is uh, this is my daughter Lily, and this is my son Ezra. Hi. How are you? This is Calvin. Is that you say? Nice. Yes. Calvin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. What happened here? Okay, so this is the gas station in Breaking Bad and there's a scene in one of the beginning seasons where Jesse sells the gas station attendant or gives her meth in exchange for gas, I think, because he, I think he had run out of money if I remember right. Yeah. So anyways, this is it. Technically, I guess it's the, uh, the Pueblo. Uh-huh. But it may not have been the actual inside that they filmed. Yeah, I think it actually was because he comes in. There's a lady up here. He gives her meth. She had never tried it. Hmm. And how did you know that? How did I know? You you passed there and you saw it. Oh, we passed here all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just recognized it from the show. My mom's been watching it. Yeah. I'm catching up on it, so I saw it again. I'm like, oh, that's that place. Ah. So. How cool is that? So, guys, what are you doing? Well, we're traveling from Seattle, Washington, uh -huh. down to Austin, Mexico, Austin, Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. And we're gonna build a climbing gym, a uh, bouldering gym. It's called ABP for Austin Bouldering Project. Okay. And you have a blog? Yeah, the blog is called BajaByBus.tumblr.com. And it's after we go to Austin, we're driving down the Baja Peninsula of Mexico. And we're gonna stay there for a couple months. We're doing it all in our 1971 Westfalia VW camper. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. 1600 dual port motor. Bring in a bring in some bikes. We can cruise around Austin and and um, do you know mechanics? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you have you to know. because when you're moving with <laughs> by the, default, you know. by default. So if something goes wrong, we try and fix it. Okay, so good luck, guys. Thank you. What's this? This is Kerpel Magazine. It is a medical cannabis publication, uh -huh. and we are the voice of the patient. We're here to spread our message and our education about cannabis All right. in the medical community. It's a magazine, where can we get it? Like it's you can get it at cancer centers, you can get it at dispensaries, grow shops, smoke shops, and um, restaurants, a lot of different places you can pick it up. All at. right, and in every state or which state? Right now we're in New Mexico, we're currently going to Denver, and hopefully you'll see us in Seattle and in Oregon soon. No, cannabis. I'm gonna risk it. You don't wanna go. So you think Travis has a, a mask? If anyone does, he does. Yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of crazy stuff. Uh -huh. And check this out. I don't know if he's gonna be here. What? Travis Kellerman. Candace Lopez. Hello, it's Candace. Good, how are you? <laughs> what are you doing? 
Oh, cool. Do I'll call you back later. I'll text you. Okay. Okay, bye. Go away. He's having dinner with a lady. Oh. oh. <laughs> Mine, it says Route 66, and then later on tonight, it'll actually light up. Because sunsets right. around like 6.30. Oh, down there in the historical district area? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Which is what New Mexico is like known for. New Mexico has more, eats more green chilies per year than anywhere else in the world. Yeah. Because we grow them and it's apparently the thing. Ah, YouTube, okay. You know what, we just had um, Albuquerque because one of the, one of our um, people were getting interviewed by the Albuquerque the magazine June 1971 See, yeah, 43 well. years ago yeah <laughs> now we've, we've got a little time chart time uh, chart up there on I don't know if you've seen that before but you'll have to take a quick look at that before but it shows the beginning and our progression from this one dining room to the next uh, next uh, room and then the whole building. So it is. You know, we only seated maybe 60 people at the time. Now we've got like over 400 seating. Yeah. It, it's grown quite a bit. And But that includes like the different buildings for storage. The building in the back is for uh, bakery and dishwasher. Yeah, that one area. back there between the parking? Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, we've, we've accumulated a lot of things. It would have been a lot easier just to, you know, have one big building, but you do what you have to <laughs> as we go in. It's, it's basically the same menu that we had 40, 43 years ago. Um, what, and, and the owner, you know, because I was trained directly by the owner, I was going to university and then I started working here at night and um, they were only open till 6.30, so I started opening the, with the night shift. Oh wow. Um, and so I became the manager at night. And then That's like the American I've been here the 43 years. Jesus. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, That's I, something you don't see. They opened, I, I think I said in June, but they opened in April and I was here in June. So uh, I've been here ever since. Uh, you know, at the beginning we only had like eight, eight uh, employees. Now we've got over 140. And um, a lot of it is part-time. We work closely with uh, students to help us with lunches and weekends and um, evenings like right now. Mexican food is actually a recipe from, from Mexico. I mean, you know, like the green chili. I mean, that's that's a native of New Mexico, the green chili. Right. It's Las Cruces, you get it at, at Hatch. Uh, if you go to Arizona, you'll get more of a jalapeno. If you go to Texas, you'll get more of a, of a red chili. And um, nobody has chili like like New Mexico does. So all of our recipes are, are a lot of our recipes are based on New Mexico green chili. So it's it's local. We order like t almost twenty thousand pounds of of green chili <laughs> to 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 last it last through the um, through the season. So basically, what happened is this guy. He's one of the local artists. I, I wish I could remember his name. I'm sure it's probably on there somewhere, but they let him pretty much at two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning. He started, he kind of illegally started painting on this wall and nobody stopped him or said anything. And then all of a sudden the cops were called, I think it was like four or five in the morning. And then they called the owners and he was like halfway done. And then the owner came out and saw it and thought it was beautiful. And the cops said, are you want to press charges? He said, nope, just let him finish it. So it's kind of funny because it lets you know that, you know, Art speaks volumes. Since 1706. Oh, this garden is dedicated to prisoners of war and military missing in action. Those members that are not counted as dead yet. Yeah, so the church dedicated since, since 1706. <laughs> the original beans. You can see how they're. You can still cut. see the rot and the hand cut, the hand chiseling. Yeah, you can see that right here. This is that hand chisel on on the axe carved out the Virgin Mary from it. And it's been there for like 100 years.
See, I grew up in a broken home, now it's no wonder I smoke alone. I've been through it, don't provoke my dome. Some things are best just left alone. I remember being left alone, waiting on the porch for my dad, think he went to Rome. Looking for the time spent, then we spent some more until he started smoking crack like who invented those, uh, yeah. Now I'm hustling nine to nine, working on the block all night for my fam to survive. See, I came a long way to let vanity ride. Fighting with my inner thoughts, let insanity slide. Uh, been going back and forth with my conscience. Smoking till I'm going unconscious. Smoking like I'm walking through Contra. I don't think these motherfuckers get in the concept. You fucking with the brain, that's a nice move. You fucking with the brain, that's the wrong tool. And I don't really, really have to kill them all. Sticker, yeah, that's what the songs do. Yeah, I'm exploding like bombs do. Y'all are just pussy like mom dudes. I used to make bad bitches on my mongoose. Now I melt wax, watch it melt like fondue. Cash rules everything around us. But everything around us, it will drown us. Let me break it on down with the pound does. Make hits, make them realize we're the founders. Me and my cousins writing some rhymes buzzing. Didn't think this rap shit would ever amount to nothing. Uh. And now I seem to kill them all with every verb. Vaping on the Denver wax, rolling up some Cali herb. I hate to be the one that says I told you so. But you was a bitch ass speaker. I told you so. So what, what are you doing with this car? Oh, we just got finished installing hydraulics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Well, he, he still has to paint it and uh, yeah. improve custom rims. You know, but they, they, they start from the inside out and start from the hydraulics and then start building it from there afterwards. You can jump. Well, it's been parked for a minute, so the battery's kind of dead, so we got to boost it. Alright, bro. That's dirty, dog. Bad, huh? Wow. <laughs> How are you, bro? Hey, how's it going, What's up, Storm? my brother? Brian? Storm Brian? Storm, Storm Brian? Trooper? Yeah. All right. All right. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you, my brother? I'm wonderful. Well, I'm going to show you a couple cars today. Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you what lives in New Mexico. How about that? Yeah. Yep. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. So, François, what is it? Huh? What is it, that All truck? Right. It's a 2006 H2 Hummer. It has 818s, 25 batteries, 4 alternators, 10 10-inch speakers, 6 tweeters, super tweeters, uh, 13 amplifiers, uh, 2 regular tweeters, a whole bunch of music. We're about to turn it on. Yeah, all right. Here you go. Let's to turn it on. <laughs> I am thinking of your voice. I am <laughs> Do 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 do
My friend put it together, it took him about 11 months by himself, yeah. this whole thing. Uh, Stonesounds.com. <laughs> <laughs> so French Francois, what happened over there? Too much bass, cracks the doors all in, too much shaking, it's just too much. It doesn't break the window, it just bends yeah. it, but it rips the doors apart. It costs to, to go car like this. Uh, I have about $109,000 US dollars into it. So about the price of a house. You could do commercial. A rap video. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Music videos. There you go. Or yeah, but rim I'm... commercial. Ah. Tire commercial. Yeah, they, they know. They Aerial know where you, they can find you. Anything. I could do something for the church and donate it. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's it. Is that your wife, Turk? Yeah. Come on. What about your neighbors? My neighbors, they love me over here. It's the South Valley. They don't they don't complain. They don't complain too much over here. They don't mind. That's my neighbor. Hello. Hey my my two year old girl. Oh I'm sorry, brother. See that's We're over. We're over. He was just filming some things from he's from France. But you're good, brother. It's my bad. Just let me know like that and I got you. My bad. Cool, I was just talking about the neighbors, you know. What about your neighbors? <laughs> I said, I don't know, they've been cool so far. <laughs> Thank you, that's awesome. There you go, that's about the neighbors. Oh. <laughs> and you can drive like that? Not really. <laughs> a little bit. Not, yeah. not, not too low to the ground because everything starts rubbing. Yeah. It's a Mercedes V12. Yeah. Big car. Big motor, same motor as the Lamborghini. Oh yeah. V12, same as the Aston Martin. <laughs> I'm feeling all right. Cloud 10, all right, not cloud nine. I went way past that. <laughs> Feeling glorious like I pop me a fizzle. My status on Sizzle, whose ass is on Big O. Everything I do, put a smirk on my face. Young hustler, I put that work up on my plate. Life ain't a movie, it's a TV show. It's too short for shit, just let your ego go. Party seven days a week, we be on that function. Looking for a pretty face to hook it up with suction. Bumping all of my 64 weeks. Trying to get rich off the 64 freaks. You should stress out, man. Used to be anxious. Put the dick in the hole. Hey, I'm the queen of real, 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 real,